हेलो फोक्स दिस इज टू थाउजेंड एटीन अक्टोबर नवम्बर पेपर फोर टू एंड द क्वेश्चन नंबर इज नाइन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट आई एम डूइंग पेपर फोर दिस क्वेश्चन इज कंसर्न विद इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो इट इज दैट अ हॉल प्रोब इज प्लेस्ड नियर वन एंड ऑफ ए सॉलिनोइड दिस इज द सॉलिनोइड दैट हेज बीन ओन्ड ऑन अ सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर सो दिस हेयर द सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर इज हेयर एज शोन इन फिगर नाइन The current in the solenoid is switched on, so we switch on the current. The hall probe is rotated until the reading VH on the voltmeter is maximum. So we adjust the hall probe uh, by means of rotation such that the reading VH hall voltage is maximum. The current in the solenoid is then varied, causing the magnetic flux density to change. So we vary the current in the solenoid, causing magnetic flux to change. The variation with time t of the magnetic flux density b at the Hall probe is as shown in Figure 9.2. So by changing the current, by changing the current, the magnetic field strength uh, has been changed, or say, the magnetic flux density has been changed, and the change like this. So the change like that uh, from time zero to t one, it is constant. So it uh, decreases uniformly till time t three, and uh, uh, during that uh, course of time, its value is uh, zero at t two. From T3 to T4, its value is uh, constant and negative, and we have to notice that the value here is more than the value here. So at time t equal to zero, the whole voltage is V naught. So time t equal to zero at the very beginning, the whole voltage is V naught. So on Figure 9.3, draw a line to show the variation with time t of the whole voltage Vh for time t equal to zero to time t equal to T4. So from here to here, from here to here. We have to find the variation of uh, the Hall voltage. Let us uh, remember that the formula for Hall voltage is so V H is equal to B into I divided N E into T. So where B is the uh, magnetic flux density, I is the current, N is the free electron density, E is the charge of the electron, and T is the thickness through which the magnetic field uh, crosses. Actually, it is the distance travelled by the magnetic field inside the conductor. So it means that V H is directly proportional to B. So here, B remains constant from here to here. So that's why this uh, V H also also should remain constant uh, from the value what was there in the beginning. So from B naught, it will be constant. So let me use uh, uh, the red one here. So from here, it is constant, constant, constant. Remains constant till T1, so it must remain constant till, 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 till T1. So from here it uh, decreases uniformly. B decreases uniformly till the time T3, and here this value, this value is twice of this value. Though it is negative, it is twice. So from here, it also has to decrease in the same manner. So when B equal to zero, this V should be equal to zero. So it must come like this, like this. So, gentlemen, uh, you have to remember that you need to uh, scale to draw this, but I am not using it here. So, from here, 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 it must go straight, straight, straight like this, till till here, because V H is directly proportional to this uh, uh, magnetic field density. So, the variation is same, of same manner, and here it's uh, constant negative, so it should be constant negative, negative till this T four. So here the value should be the value should be should be minus two v naught, and here it should be v naught. Here zero zero and so on. Now <coughs> now the next part of question says that the next part of question says that says that says that the Hall probe in A is replaced by a coil small coil of wire connected to a sensitive voltmeter. So we simply have a coil now. As shown in Figure uh, 9.4, so this is the coil. Everything is same except the coil. So you can compare the things here. This Hall probe. Here we have a coil. The magnetic flux density normal to the plane of the small coil is again varied as shown in Figure uh, 9.2. So the variation is uh, same here. The variation is same. So now what we need to do is we need to find find the EMF, the EMF induced in the coil throughout these times. So one thing that we have to remember is that 
the EMF induced here is equal to minus d phi by dt and where this phi is equal to phi is equal to uh, for the normal area here it's equal to ba so that means then that, that means the emf depends on the rate of change of the uh, magnetic flux and uh, subsequently it depends on the rate of change of the magnetic flux density so that means that means in this case so i can put it right down like this so let me fold this let me fold this and bring it here so i have folded this thing and i will bring it here so during this time we have b equal to constant so it means that since b is constant phi is constant which means that e should be equal to zero e should be equal to zero so from here to here e should be equal to zero so 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 our value of e will be from here from here 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 till t1 till t1 its value should be equal to zero and again from t3 to t4 it has got a constant value this b so phi should be constant and here also the value of e should be equal to 0 0 0 like this so here also the value should be from t3 till uh, t4 it should be 0 0 0 0 0 like this now what about here what about this case here we have got the rate of change of this uh, phi or b is uh, constant rate of change is constant and negative rate of change is constant and negative so that means that means uh, its value should be so we have got this thing is constant and negative so negative of negative is positive so during this time the value of e should be positive let me again repeat it the rate of change is negative so negative of negative so negative of negative something is equal to positive something so the value of e should be positive something from time t1 till time t3 the slope is same here so let us give a certain value here like this like this so from here to t3 the value is constant constant and positive the value is constant and positive so from here it rises like this like this and from here it descends like this you have to use a scale here so this is how the graph would look like so these are the list answers to the question this this question which will secure uh, five marks overall